The Prophet said alayhi salatu wasalam, whenever any one of you sees a bad dream, something that depresses him when he wakes up, he should do the following. One, seek refuge in Allah Azza wa Jal from the cursed Satan three times. A'udhu billahi minash rajim three times. And then dry spit to his left three times. And never tell anyone about it. The Prophet justifies saying that because it is from shaitan and it would not harm it. Now this hadith called other scholars to comment on it and say that if you tell others about your bad dreams, there is a possibility that it will turn into a reality as a punishment. See, dreams can be one of three, also told to us by the Prophet ﷺ. So this, once you understand it, it makes life easy. Whatever I see in my dreams, it is one of three. Either it is glad tiding from Allah Azza wa Jal. So I go to bed, I'm looking for a job, and in my dreams, all what I see is good things, things that make me happy, things that make me positive, and I wake up feeling good. Inshallah, this is glad tidings from Allah that I'll get a good job or something good is coming my way. Secondly, dreams that are a representation of your subconscious. So if, for example, if I'm a tailor and I go to bed, usually I would have dreams about making a three-piece suit to a customer or a tuxedo or a thobe or a wedding dress. So this is all what I get dreams about because this is my subconscious working on me. Thirdly, dreams that are from shaitan, the Prophet tells us, and these are made to depress you. And shaitan is a blatant liar. So he comes into my dreams and he tells me that you remember losing your job? You remember the car accident you had? This was black magic done to you by your uncle or your mother-in-law gave you an evil eye. So I wake up depressed, sad, and I have this enmity towards my uncle or my mother-in-law because of the dream. The, the Prophet told us, this is from shaitan. So move on and don't pay any attention to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs>